Hello, Sam. Hello. Hi, Ben. How is the family? Thank you. That's fine. Mr. Lundgren told me that your family is coming home. Yeah, you bet they're coming home. The wife of the boy Shandy. <laughs> and will I be glad to see them? Oh, <laughs> of it and we'll fix that all right. Oh, a heck of a lot of good. Oh, that's 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 cost you, Mr. Bloom. Oh, don't you pay him, Pop. Half of them were rotten. Uh... You hear what he said? I give you 40 cents. No more. What do you say, Tony? Uh... All right. But next time, I don't settle. Oh, Tony, once more, you're crazy. She's the Tony, what's the matter with you? I don't know what's the matter. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> that boy of mine, <laughs> if his mama was only alive. Now, Sal, don't be worrying. He's a good lad. Maybe so, but sometimes I wonder. I wonder. Oh. I get something for your Molly. No, Sal, no. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> this is for Molly. And I got something for Dandy, but I'm going to give it to him myself. Oh, <laughs> you old rascal. <laughs> Oh, it's beautiful. You think she'll like it? She'll be tickled to death. It'll look fine on the living room table filled with flowers. <laughs> Sal, you're a good friend. <laughs> it's you who are good. You, are, you keep your eye on my little Joey, and, and I appreciate it. No, 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 no. You're doing a mighty fine job bringing up that boy all alone. And I'll help all I can. And when my money comes back, <laughs> oh, she'll help too. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> well, I'm off duty now. And I'll take this upstairs. <laughs> I come upstairs after I will play little Pinocchio, eh? You're on. And prepare for the trimming of your life. <laughs> <laughs> Joey. Joey! Joey! Joey, you're in the closet. Come out. Joey, your papa wants you. Oh, gee, Papa. I Come ain't here. done nothing. Tommy, I want to talk to you. Sit on my lap, young man. Why can't you be a nice boy? Don't you know taking Tony's oranges like that was stealing? Oh, I guess so. You guess so, yeah? You think that'll make your sweet little mama happy? 
if you knew it? I'm sorry, Papa. Well, then promise me like a good boy you don't do it again. All right, Papa. I won't. You wait a minute. How are you getting along at school? Oh, fine. But we had a vacation today. Even if I want to believe you, I can't. Your teacher wants to know why you haven't been to school now for two weeks. Huh? Don't spank me, Papa. I'm not going to spank you, Julie. You're all I got. Come here. Why can't you be a nice boy? Your papa wants you should be a good boy. Not behave like a bummer. Everybody complains. Joey Blum, he's a little tramp, a gun if. And you've been pushing that button again. What button? You know what I mean. The button underneath the counter that rings the burglar alarm up to Mr. O'Hara's room. Who told you? Mr. O'Hara told me. And he don't like. Papa wants you should be a nice boy. You should grow up to be a, a big man, like, like Mr. O'Hara, maybe. I'd rather be like Tom Varney. All right, be like Tom Varney, and your papa's satisfied. But he's an Irisher, Papa. Did I ask you what he was? I'm telling you he's a fine man. You should be like him. Can I go out to play, Papa? Right, but remember to be home before dark. Okay, Papa. Look what I got. Gee, a nickel. Where'd you get it, Hilda? Teased it out of my mouth. Come on, what do you say we get a nice ice cream thing, huh? We? Sure. All right. I'm doing my best, Mama, but my best ain't so good. Anything new on the beat? No, the same as usual. The Ginsburg baby has the colic, and Mrs. O'Flaherty is expecting, and Joey Bloom and the rest of the kids knocked over Tony's oranges again. <laughs> and Joey Bloom gets the blame. And most of the oranges, Sure. Yes. Hello, Tom. Hello, Ruth. Hello, Mr. O'Hara. I'll be up in Little Paul with the curtain. That'll be fine, Ruth. <laughs> I promised Davy I'd go out with him tonight. He bought a car this morning. A car, is it? How can a pants press afford to buy an automobile? A rich uncle of his in Philadelphia sent him a check on his birthday. Oh, see. Say, you're not in love with that guy, are you? Mama says you'll make a fine husband. <laughs> well, there he is now. Hello, Dave. How are you? Well, here it is. How do you like it? It's a beauty. It's a very fine car. I'll bet there isn't another car like that in all the world. But you want to mind I don't give you a ticket for parking next to that fire plug. Now, Tom. Come on in, Dave. Mama wants to talk to you. See you later, Tom. I'll be right with you. So long, Irisher. I'll send you an invitation to the wedding. That's me. Telegram. Stand right to the bottom line, please. All right, thank you.
We regret to inform you of the of But why are you not dropping to see me? It's now one, two, three days since you tell me you don't know who you love. <laughs> Papa Sol, with your curiosity, you should have been a woman. Uh, oh, aren't they pretty? Who are they for? Oh, Hera's wife, Molly. Maybe she likes them, eh? But they'll wilt before Saturday. The vex! They last a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Hera, it's me, Sol, and Rudy. He's sleeping. I think we'll wake him up. Hey, O'Hara, wake up! I got here something for your Molly. Flowers for the babe. Shen. What's wrong? You wish I should stay here with you? I will if you wish I should. Leave me alone. I know how he's suffering. Oika koi hashel, la oya hahela koi makel. That means, Joey, be kind to your fellow man. God is love. Kitty, 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 kitty. Where are you, kitty? Where are you again, kitty? Ah, uh, kitty, come on. Come on, kitty. Ah, what a nuisance you are, kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Where are you hiding, kitty? Come on, kitty. Come on, nice kitty, kitty, kitty. Joey, Joey, 
Oh, no, Ty. Quick. Get us out as you can. Miss O'Hare is hurt. I, I'm scared, Pop. Please, Joey, I should tell you. Shandy. Never mind, Sal. <laughs> I can't say much. Give my badge to my boy. See you. He gets a break. Take care of him. You can? I promise it. I raise him like my own son. Now, you be nice to Shandy, you hear? Oh, I don't want another kid around the house. Shh. Here they come now. This is Miss Ruthie, and this is my boy, Joey. Joey, you remember uh, the Shandy? You remember when you were playing together? Remember when? <laughs> sure. Uh-uh, I don't remember him. Oh. <laughs> they were so small. <clears throat> Tell them forget. You can have my knife. Says it's a fine knife, and I thank you. You're a foreigner, ain't you? I don't know. Well, say, can I take these things off now? Shh, Joey. Well, the collar hurts. Oh, come on. Well, I'll be seeing you, Shanty. No, my name's Shandy. Okay. Say, this collar hurts. Where's my father? Come here, Shandy. I'm Tom Barney. Pleased to meet you, sir. His father's a policeman. Do you know him? I'll see you later on. I want to talk to you. Where's my father? Sit down. I got something for you from your papa. Your papa gave me this. For you? Gee, it's his badge. Your papa was a hero. The greatest policeman in the whole United States. One night he came into Papa Sol's store when a burglar, 20 burglars broke in. Your papa pulled his gun and... Yeah? And what happened then? Well, he... Say... Did, did your pop get hurt? Yes, Yandy. He, he got hurt. Well, ain't he gonna come home soon? No, Kindling, you, you see, he was a brave man, like the soldiers who, who die for the country. You mean my, my father's dead, too? I want my father. Oh. I want my father. Oh. <laughs> oh, I want my father. Why is he dead? Oh. I want my father. Little boy. Oh, Just like mine. <laughs> Come on, 
What are you studying? Gozenda. Gozenda? Sure. Two Gozenda four, three Gozenda six, and four Gozenda eight. Oh, I see. Gozenda. Sure. <clears throat> That's a fine report card. Uh, my Dewey should have such a fine card. You've got to sign it, Paul. Oh, I'll be proud to sign it. Mm. If my Joey don't pass next term, I paddle his canoe. I'll help him with his lessons tonight. Oh, that's a good boy, Shandy. Has my Joey been upstairs in the storeroom? I don't know. Yeah. All right, run along and play. But, but uh, Pop, I want to... Yeah, you run out in the sunshine and you finish that when you come back tonight, huh? All right. Mm. Hello, mister. How do you do? Uh, say, Sonny, can you tell me the price of this violin? It's a special. Six bucks. Too much. Too much? Ah, oh, it's a fine fiddle. That's fine, Shandy. Sir, are you two sweethearts? I thought you were like dog. Well, maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Ah, oh, that's a grand song. Why don't you take him for a ride, Dave? Well, I've got to run over to my apartment. Want to come along? Sure. You bet I do. See you later. Bye-bye. Come on in, kid. I'll only be a minute and we'll go right back. This is a grand place you got. Oh, it's not so bad. How'd you like to hear the radio? Fine. Good. I got a fine heart. My mother gave it to me. That's great. Uh, Sometime I'll listen to you play. Furniture polish. Furniture polish? Gee, you got a lot of it. Mr. Bloom, I mean Papa Saul, was saying he needed some. What's all this junk? That, that's where I make it. Gee, you're smart, aren't you? I'm not so dumb. Say, can I have a bottle? What? Papa Sol will pay for it. No, no, this is a new kind of polish I'm making. It's a big secret invention I don't want anyone to know about. Yes. You keep it quiet, see? Oh, sure. I get you. And remember now, on your word of honor. I won't say a word. Honest, I won't.
All right, kid, let's go. And remember, on your word of honor. Good. Get our secret. I won't. Hey, what are you going? None of your business, Irish. Pop saw your report card. You're going to catch the dickens. Ah. It's you, Sandy. Uh, have you seen Joey? No. I'm looking for him myself. That's some swell furniture polish, Pop. Where'd you get it? Oh, from a man. He was giving away samples. I I'll find Joey for you. Hello, Sandy. Hello, Tom. Good afternoon, Papa Tom. Good afternoon, Tom. Yeah, that smells pretty good. What is it? Furniture polish. My shandy gave me. <laughs> Oi! It's cooking the wood! Tom, don't do it. It's polish! Holy mackerel. That stuff would poison a snake. What is it, Tom? Poison? Why, that's the vilest, cheapest kind of gin. And my shandy had it. Where did he get it? I don't know. I don't know. Well, I'll get him and find out. And you play dead, see? Play dead? I mean, don't say anything to Shandy about it. Let me do the questioning. All right, just as you say. But you think there's something wrong? I know there's something wrong. Well, Mr. Borty, where have you been these last few weeks? Ah, chicken noodles, eh? And such noodles your mama cooks. <laughs> but I made this. Oh, you're learning to cook, is it? For why? Yes. I don't have to guess. I know already. Then you know more than I do. Ah, you young folks. Not knowing who you love. When I was a young man... I don't need a church to fall on me to tell me where I stand. Tom. Oh, I wish you'd make up your mind what you're going to do. Why don't you ask Mama? I did. Now listen, Ruth. There's one thing I want to know, and I want to know it now. What, Tom? Well, you know how I feel, and I want to know if you feel the same way. You mean... Yes. Do you? Mama likes Dave. And I suppose you're going to marry him just because she wants you to. You don't know Mama, Tom. Well, I know my own mind, which is more than you do. Is that so? Yes, that's so. How do you like that? Hey, Joey! Joey! Hey, you can see Joey. No, I haven't seen him. Oh, gee. Oh, hello. You looking for Joey? Uh-huh. You seen him? Yeah, about a half an hour ago. You see him again, tell him I want to see him, will you, sure. Tom? Oh, Shandy, I want to talk to you. Sit down. Mm. How's your heart? Fine. Needs polishing, doesn't it? Yeah. It's a pretty old one. It belonged to me mother. Well, why don't you try some furniture polish on it? Gee, that's an idea. I got some swell polish today. You did, eh? From who? From? Yes? Oh, from a man. A man, huh? What kind of a man? Oh, I don't know. Just a man. 
was a sample. Right. Shandy, I want you to tell me who gave you that stuff. I can't tell you. You can't tell me? Why, don't you know? Yes. Well, then why can't you tell me? I gave me word of honor I wouldn't. The word of honor, eh? Yes, sir. That's right, Shandy. A man should never break his word of honor. Now, I'm going to tell you something, and I want you to listen very carefully. That wasn't furniture polish in that bottle. That was something that people drink. Something that makes them mean and bad. and makes them go blind. Gee, Tom. Are you telling me the truth? My word of honor. I don't want people going blind. There's an awful lot of it, too. I'm going to tell you, Tom. It was Dave. Dave? He's got a lot of it in his room. Do you mean Dave that works for Mrs. Snyder? Yes, sir. You trust me, don't you, Shandy? Sure I do. Well, I don't want you to say anything to anybody about this. All right, I won't. You're not going to do anything to Dave, are you? Oh, no, I'm not going to do anything to Dave. Well, word of honor? Uh, you run along now and, uh, and find Joey. All right, see you later. around here. I want that dollar you took. What dollar? You know what dollar. Give me it. Say you wire shirt. You tell your own business or I'll knock your block off. Now, what about that dollar? I, I lost it. When Papa Saul shuts up tonight, there'll be a dollar missing. That makes you a thief. Don't tell, Pop. Please don't. Oh, I'm not a tattletale. You're gonna tell him. You got to. I rang it up. Shandy. Uh, I can't tell Pop. Yeah. I've been thinking about that. If only we could borrow a buck from somebody. Who's gonna lend us a buck? Say, I got it. You can sell your harp. Sell me harp? Sure. Then you can lend me a buck. Then when I get some money, I'll pay it back to you. That'll make everything all right, see? I won't be a thief, and Pop will never know anything about it. Yeah, it sounds all right. There's a catch in it, though. What's that? You paying me back a buck. What's up? Get a warrant for your arrest. Your way of getting even, eh? Ah, that is loose. What's the charge? Illegal manufacture and sale of intoxicants and a few other charges. You'll find out all about it. I don't believe a word of it. You're just doing this to get even because you thought I liked him. I know you're innocent, Dave. Well, what are you waiting for? Here. Yeah. What are you waiting for, you good-for-nothing, lazy loafer? Get out! Get now, out! Now, wait a minute, Mrs. Snyder. Listen to me. Dave's been making and peddling a lot of rotten gin. But Go oh, ask your friend, Mrs. Munson. Ask her how she feels about her son going blind. He drank some of that gin. And he's not the only one in the precinct that's been buying it. Now, there's a place for men like Dave where they'll put him where he won't do any more harm. And that's where he's going. I'm sorry that this had to happen to you, Ruth.
Gee, I've lost my knife. You seen it? Don't ask me. I don't know nothing about it. You got your lessons done? I'll finish them tonight. Face Joey. Oh. Had his lessons? Sure. That's good. Shandy. Yes, Pop. Play some harp music for me. You know how I like it. Soft like and sweet, huh? Gee, Pop. I can't. I left it at school. At school? Yes, sir. I told the teacher about it, and she wanted to see it. Well, that's too bad. Don't forget to bring it home for tomorrow night for the amateur night at the theater. What amateur night? Oh, they give away a $10 gold piece for the best performance of a child. Maybe you win it. Gee. Come here, Kindling. Ah, you're a good boy. My Joey should be like you. Oh, uh, he'll be all right, Pop. Yeah. Here. Run along now and buy yourself and Hitley some soda water. Thanks, Pop. You've been awful good to me. Ah. Nice boy. Yo, yo, look, come over here. I'm going to tell you about it. Yo, come over here. I'm going to tell you Papa so. I'm going to tell you Papa so. Honey, the hell, the hell. Look at the black yo, the joy in here. Oh, my God. Look, look at here what he do now. Look here what he do. Black, black, black. 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 Water by yourself. Oh, I know. Look, look at him, Black. Look at him, Black. He's ruined everything. I know. It's the same thing all over again. You want him arrested. This time I'm in him. If I get you the ten bucks, you let Joy stay out of jail. No. This time it's the finish. I'm through. Ah, oh, Tony, be reasonable. You know, Sal has worried a lot about Joey lately, and if you insist upon this arrest, then you're going to make Sal feel very badly. You get me the ten bucks, I won't sell nothing to Papa Tony. That's the boy, Tony. Yeah, that's the boy, Tony. Once more, Tony's crazy. Oh, Tony Ostarelli, how fool you are. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. That was well. It's all right. I'm playing the harp tomorrow night at the theater. Bring some of the items you're up to a blog for me, will you, Tom? Sure, I will. Come on now, folks, break it up. Come on now, get out of here. Keep them moving around here now. Come on. What is it, kid? Where's me, Hawk? I borrow it tomorrow night. I'll give you a dime. Hawk? Oh, you mean that thing that was in the window? Don't call it a thing. It's a Kalani Hawk from Ireland. It sold about an hour ago. Food, food, to sell it to? I don't know. I look it up in the book. Gordon Vells, 127 East 75th Street. 157 East 75th How far is it up there? I don't know. Maybe uh, six, seven miles. Do you, do you think Mr. Wells has landed it to me? Perhaps. Maybe. I'll go and find out. Here's your dime, kid. Thank you. I'm 
going down to see Mr. Levinsky for a little while. Now, I want you kids to be in bed and asleep when I come back. All right, we will. Good night, Joey. Good night, Ken. Another crack out of you and I'll punch your nose. The court papa saw me enough trouble already. Oh, Heavenly Father, I sure do need me heart. See what you can do for me. Amen. Hey, get off of my feet, will you? for your papa. Does a Mr. Gordon Wells live here? He does. Well, well can I see him? What is your business with Mr. Wells? Well, I want to see him about me. Well, that is his heart. Which one? More than one? Oh, Mr. Wells has several halls. In fact, he collects them. Well, the one I'm talking about is the little one he got yesterday. Oh. Is Mr. Wells expecting you? Oh, sure. Very well, then. Wait here, please. I'll inform Mr. Wells. Beg pardon, Mr. Wells. There's a little boy here wants to see you. Oh, I wanted to see you. Oh, please don't let him throw me out. Oh, I gotta see you. I'll handle this, Robbins. Very good, sir. <laughs> now, my boy, who are you? Shandy O'Hara Bloom, sir. <laughs> you, <laughs> darling. Bloom? Yes, sir. Papa saw. I mean, Mr. Bloom adopted me. Gee, I'm glad you're Irish. <laughs> <laughs> How did you guess I was Irish? We foreigners. Uh, <laughs> come over here, Sandy. I want to talk with you. Oh, my boy, tell me, what is it all about? Pardon me, sir. Dinner is served. Dinner can wait. Very good, sir. I want to borrow me harp. Your harp? Yes, sir. You know, the little one you bought yesterday from Sam Levy. But, uh, that's right. My secretary got one for me yesterday. Robbins. Yes, sir. Bring me the Kalani harp, the little one. Very good, sir. I just want it for tonight. I want to win a prize at the theater. You know, the amateur theatricals. <laughs> I'll bring it back. Honest, I will, Mr. Wells. So you play the harp? Yes, sir. I sing, too. I will. Shandy, this is a very valuable harp. And I don't think I can lend it to you. <laughs> but I'll tell you what I will do. I'll give you a dollar if you'll play and sing for it. <laughs> you won't lend it to me? No. All right. I'll play and sing for you. That's the boy. <laughs> I just wanted to play it. I use the arch for my stage. All right, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> now you all stay back. I, I enter from over here, see? And I exit over here, see? <laughs> <laughs> you can have a regular show. <laughs> the exit's over there, and it comes back here. <laughs> I never saw anything in my life like it. <laughs> wow, wonderful. Wouldn't that be funny if you took the half and then away with it? Great joke. I think so, too. He's gone. So gone. <laughs>
we got at our wonderful artist, our little girl. A teacher, darling. <laughs> Teachers, leave it.
I borrowed it. You better go on home. I'll be along. Ain't you coming home now? No, I gotta see Tom down at the station now. God bless you. Thank you. What do you want to see Tom for? It, it's something I gotta tell him. About me? No, nah, about me. Me heart. I didn't borrow it. I'm a thief. I stole it from the man that bought it. And I'm gonna tell Tom. But maybe he'll put you in jail. Yeah, I thought about that. If he does, and I don't come home tonight, you tell Papa Saul I said, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll do something for you sometime, Sandy. Honest, I will. All right. Now, you better go on home before Papa Tom begins to worry. Okay. You can say that I'm with Tom and not to worry. All right. God bless you. Thank you. So long. What were you doing in that room? Well, I was just in there, sir. What did she hit you for? Well, well, well I shoved her down, sir. Is that all you did? Yes, sir, and I accidentally kicked the tooth. Where's the woman? In the hospital. Well, take him down and lock him. Yeah, 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 sir, boss, but I don't think that's right, boss, because I've seen that woman take harder blues than that, sir. Oh, yeah, come on. Yeah. <laughs> What do you want, kid? I want to see Mr. Tom Blonnie, please, sir. What's your name? Shandy O'Hara Bloom, sir. Well, I'll take you in myself, Shandy. Those are all wet. Yes, sir. It, it's raining outside, sir. And you brought your harp, too. Yes, sir. Young gentleman to see you. He's turning himself in. Hello, Sandy. Hey, Tom. Can, can I see you alone? Sure you can. Hey, fellas, Shandy wants to see me alone. Will you fellas duck? Congrats, Tom. I've, I've come to give myself up. To give yourself up? What for? I'm a thief. Oh, you're kidding me. No, I'm not, Tom. Honest. I'm a thief. All right, then you're a thief. What have you stolen? Me, me harp. Your harp? Yes, sir. Why, how could you steal the harp when it's already yours? It was, be before I sold it. You sold your harp? Yes, sir. What for? Well, I, I took a dollar from Papa Saul's cash drawer and wanted to put it back. You took a dollar? Yes, sir. I guess I'm just a natural born thief, Tom. Shandy O'Hara's son of thief. I can hardly believe it. God bless you, Shandy. Thank you. Me, me father was a fine man. Wasn't he, Tom? The finest on the force. Then, I guess it's a good thing he can't be seeing me now. Candy, you're shielding someone. What shielding? You're taking the blame for something Joey did. Tom, you won't be after telling Baba's out, will you? Sure, and Joey's a fine boy, and he wants to be. Honest he is. All right, then I won't tell him. Excuse me, Tom. Sure. You, you're going to lock me up now? Well, uh, not right now. You see, you, you brought the harp back. Hey, Tom. I, I feel awful funny. 
everything's going around. 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 Shandy. 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 Hey, Colin. Yeah. Get a car. What is this kid sick? He's a very sick boy. All right. I got the finest doctor I could get. Hey, Tom. Will you come in the other room a minute, please? I want to talk to you. Well, what is it, Joey? Sit down, will you, Tom? Sure. Is, is Sandy going to die, Tom? I don't know, Joey. Gee, I hope he don't. If he gets well, are you going to put him in jail? Well, he admits that he's a thief. A thief? Yes, Joey. Besides stealing his harp, he told me that he stole a dollar out of Daddy Saul's cash drawer. He never did. It was me that took that money. And he sold his heart for a bug so the pop wouldn't know. Gee, I've been awful mean to him, Tom. I even swiped the knife that I gave him. I don't want him to die, Tom. I'll be a good boy, like he's been trying to make me. Honest, I will, Tom. I don't want him to die. Well, Mr. Bloom, I've done all I can. Nature will have to do the rest. Nature is God. And God don't let little boys like Shandy die. I see you to your car, Doc. Oh, that isn't necessary, Mr. Bloom. Thank you. Yes, Doc. I can find my way all right along. <laughs> such a bad boy. If you want me, Daddy Sal, I'll be out on my beat. Shandy. And Sam from Joy, too. Thank you, Tony. This boy's case puzzles me. Pardon me. His temperature is normal. His pulse is a bit shaky. But he doesn't seem to react to treatment. Isn't there anything I can do? Money? Nothing. I'll drop in again this evening. Mr. Wells said that Shandy could have his heart.
Ruth. Play something. Maybe. Gave it to you. For key? Sure. I put it right here next to you. Me, me mother gave it to me. Yes. Shandy, I'm so glad you're better. I've got something of yours. It's your knife. I swiped it from you, and you can have it. Thank you. Sure. Hey, it's a fine knife, and I thank you. You can't tell me you ain't a foreigner. I don't know. Thank you. 